Hey guys, Mirad here, coming to you today from the Broke Rock server, and today I'm going to kind of show you around a couple of things I've done, and then we're going to we're going to build something, and it's going to be a great episode. So, uh, last episode I kind of like tried to hide this from you so you guys could see it. Uh, yeah, I wanted to build another portal. It's a little close to the house, but I kind of like it. I want to have everything a little bit more close together this season. But yeah, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and I and I love it. And again, as always, I look around on the internet, find a picture that I like, tweak it to my needs. I love it. I love it. Went ahead and used, I'm not sure if I already said this last episode, I probably should have checked, but, uh, you know, use a suggestion from one of the viewers. I believe that was amazing sound. Good job on what I should put in the windows. And I kind of tweaked how I did, you know, a few things here. Went ahead and raised this window up by one so I could put fences in the front, kind of dress that up a little bit, give it a little bit of depth. Um, put a little jazz around the windows here. I told y'all I was going to get rid of the melon and pumpkins because I have that awesome machine over there, which actually I need to turn on real fast. I turn it on and I just turn it right back off because I'm not trying to run it right now. It creates a little bit of lag, but when I need them, I'll let it run all AFK for, you know, about 10, 20 minutes or so. Uh, dress up the front of the windows here and I did the same thing on the side, right? Here, only on this one, I just put it on top because I didn't want to confuse the sheet and raise that window and put that right there so this over here that we're going to build today i've been talking about for a minute we're going to go ahead and build a storage system because you know that's just the next thing on the list probably should have built that before i built the other things i did in the nether and the uh you know the in portal room but you know hey <laughs> i do things as they come into my head but we're going to do a little storage system here a uh, little uh what is it three space gap between everything makes it a nice uh you know clean wall design and then I might change that, but I'm probably going to leave it the same. It's either going to be three or it's going to be five. So I'm not eh, mm, kind of actually leaning towards five. So I might change that before I uh, before I do the time lapse. But yeah, I want to go ahead and have chests right here against the wall, chests right here against the other wall. And on the back wall, we'll have a couple of like uh, furnaces and crafting table and, you know, probably stone cutter, just the, the regular uh, things you need. You know, whenever you're gonna, you know, put stuff together in your storage room. And then nice little three block gap here for a doorway. And whatever thing I do for the walls is gonna be the same thing all the way around. That's why it's three all the way around, and it might be five all the way around. But yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna get on to do some other stuff. <laughs> so enjoy that beautiful bean footage.
and there it is. I am so happy with this thing. <laughs> a lot of times I go online and I look, uh, look for pictures, whatever. I did not look for any pictures here. This is all, all my brain. I'm pretty happy, except for I don't know what I just did right there. That's weird. That's weird. I don't think that needs to be there. All right. Oh, I know what I did. That's from the upstairs. I'll, I'll fix it later. But yeah, guys, I absolutely love this build. Enderman came by. And let's go ahead and show you guys what's going on inside. I absolutely love this thing. So I did barrels around there just because I thought it fit. <laughs> uh, I love the floor. Uh, worked hard to get this to be actually random. You can see a little uh, smoke coming up because, of course, there's torches underneath some of these or half slabs, you know. Uh, went ahead and filled this full of chests and actually started, you know, emptying out all my storage. Yeah, <laughs> it's been ridiculous so that's a lot of end stuff and of course the money box right there and of course this uh, I, I have a sort of a system on this side I want like more building blocks so I'll probably actually want to moving the redstone I don't know why I put that there and the quartz over to this side because I kind of want the you know the building blocks here and then sometimes stuff that you make with the building blocks because you know you, you get a lot of sandstone and you make a bunch of stairs that I don't want in the same box so I want to be able to do that and then with cobblestone of course you have the cobblestone and then you have boxes of cobblestone and the same thing for the stone same thing for the netherrack which is right there and on this side is kind of like odds and ends so like this one is like all the stationy type stuff so extra crafting tables you know lecterns you know all, all this kind of thing okay that all goes right there beds because i always wind up you know with a, a a bunch of beds i don't know why and then that's all like extra weird equipment that I get. Um, what else I want to show you guys? Uh, did some more uh, mining in the nether and finished off getting that nether, um, netherite shovel. And then over here I combined, this is what's left for me combining all the stuff that I got from the end. And this over here is what I consider good. This over here is what I consider might, you know, give it to, you know, a newbie or a fan or something. Um, the sharpness four fire aspect, well, not that one. What the heck? That one belonged over there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, frost walker, but it's got fire prod on it. I'm breaking. This one's got protect projectile protection. This one too. The helmet with fire prod and thorns, diamond chest plate, projectile protection is pretty much what killed it there. Um, I'm breaking three diamond pickaxe, but I've got a lot of extra pickaxes. Uh, might put it over here. Yeah, I'll put that over there. I thought I'd gone through this. Uh, shovel of Fortune 2, Fire Prot, Blast Protection, fi uh, Protect All Protection, Blast Prot. But these ones over here are the, are the, are the awesome ones, okay? And look at that. Efficiency 5. This is a Silk Touch pickaxe. This all came from the end. And then uh, Prot 4. I'm breaking 2 and mending 1. If I could just bump that up. Does this have 3? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> this one right here is amazing. Like, I think that's almost perfect yeah soul speed maybe and then the helmet is also almost perfect you need aqua affinity so there's just a couple things i could add and it makes a whole nother set of uh of stuff for me uh oh yeah <laughs> this is my old shovel i had to rename it old shovel because i actually combined one better that had efficiency five yeah <laughs> so i renamed this mirror shovel and renamed that old shovel and of course you guys saw the fire or the fire aspect and uh sharpness for sword and of course, a smite five sword for whenever I want to go fight the, the wither or whatever. So that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, the stuff I'm not going to use, I'll probably give to a newbie. What else do I want to say? Put a little armor stands in the front, you know, kind of cool. Oh, it's dark. Oh my goodness, I gotta go sleep in my bed. Now that the night has slept away, I'm going to get rid of all these extra little mobs chilling around. He's going to hit me with an arrow. Gotcha. I ain't going to worry about that guy over there, but I'll pick this stuff up. Pick it up. I can have a place to put it all. All right, so I talked about in the beginning of this episode, I, I said, you know, uh, something about doing the nether portal room and uh, or the end portal room and uh, all the stuff I did in the nether. And then I realized I hadn't showed you guys what I did in the nether yet. So let's go through this portal. I'm going to show you. This is what I accomplished in the nether. Uh, this is where it goes down to the end portal, my end portal. Uh, I still need to finish that and it's going to continue on to be the exact same. But basically this repeating. So you got the crimson stems on top. You got the red nether brick uh, going in and kind of bracketing it, you know, right there. And then you got the diorite bracketing it that way. 
and a shroom lights behind it with, of course, all that black stone. This took forever to do. That goes into my mining area down there in the nether. But yeah, this goes right down to my mining area. I used the red carpet there just because it made sense and then put black carpet right there, so. <laughs> but this is it, and this, this is a very, very long hallway. Let's see if the lag will let me actually fly. Look at that. Look at how long this hallway is. Like, it was, oh my goodness, look at that lag. X-ray, all right. <laughs> It took so much mining of uh, the Crimson Forest to get the shroom lights and enough of the stems to actually do this thing. And I was basically doing that for a very, very long time. And we're off the green hallway, of course. We're going to be working on a, a nether hub. You'll see that in a, a future thing. I'm not going to give that away too much right now. But I am far enough away from where the nether hub should be that nothing that I did here will have to get moved. It'll all be perfect and we'll, we'll sink in just perfect. The only thing I have to figure out is how to, well, essentially how to open up, open this up right into the, the new hallway, whatever that's going to look like. So guys, I showed you the hole I dug down there. I think if not, I'll put it on the screen and let's go back into the old world. That hole I just showed you guys goes back for ever <laughs> but you know i got all my netherite so you know i even have the uh the helmet but it's in the e-chest right now so i, I want to wear the nether helmet a lot but i went ahead and fully enchanted it you know and put things on it that don't really need to be there so i forget to take it off so that's why aquafinity and respiration are on there uh i always forget to take the silly thing off so yeah <laughs> i have got to fix that and through the power of editing it is fixed now, I know certain people will, you know, give me a lot of a uh, headache over the diorite back there, but I think it works. I like it. And yeah, it just, it just fit. I didn't like the way the fences were going all the way up. That's why I put that little stair there. I think that also works. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. This was, uh, this was fun to build. And then, of course, I had to chop down half of my, my oak forest. Looks like it all regrew, though. If you looked in the time lapse, you'll slowly see it start to disintegrate as I would cut out the parts where I had to fly over here and then, you know, harvest some stuff. And, you know, it was fun. But as far as plans for the rest of the base goes, uh, I got my big storage there system, so I needed that. Now I want to have... Uh, let me try to land on this roof here. Tink! Perfect. Central Net joined the game! <laughs> I want to uh, look into automating these farms. I know you can have... Uh, at least you used to be able to have uh, villager farms, and I never really got into the farms thing, so that's kind of why I want to do it. I'm not even sure if you can still do it anymore. And there was a thing where you couldn't do it with potatoes for a while, so, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to automate some farms. I want to get them back over there. I don't really see a better place for those right now as far as where I want everything to be. But, we're, you know, we have, we have three buildings and, a, and another portal building right now, so we're doing, we're doing pretty good. Um... I might make the bamboo thing, make, make it into a little hut, put a little house around it, and I might, you know, move it. Uh, and if I do that, I'll move that and make a little house, so put it back here maybe somewhere. And then, you know, build a little house or something around the melon and pumpkin farm maybe. Just to get this to look more house-ish like, or not house ish like, uh, village-ish, you know, like. I just said village-ish. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, over there, I want to build a pyramid. No reason, but if you guys follow my channel, you follow the series that I play, I uh, play on uh, Nevercraft, SMP, I play on Broke Rock, of course. I eventually wind up building something completely random that makes no sense having to do with the rest of the, the you know, quote, theme of my base, uh, because I want to. And that's like the whole goal of Minecraft, isn't it? Just to build stuff that you want, that you think will look cool. So I'm, ooh, ooh look at those guys. I'm going to wind up doing it. <laughs> and, it might even be next episode. I haven't really decided yet, but I want to have a pyramid. I, I just do. Yep, now I've got that, and now I've got to go find a cow. Ooh, he's upset. He's a big man. Oh, we got him. Okay, cool. I'm not even going to go over there and grab the stuff. I just wanted to kill those guys, see if I could hit them from over here. But yeah, I, I want a pyramid, and that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm going to build because I want one. What else do you guys think I should build? What what else do you think would add to this uh, to this village? But it's got to be something like that I need. I don't want to build something that you know 
I don't know, build something and call it something, you know, not needed. So give me your suggestions. I'll be looking in the comments below. Where did I put the bucket? Guys, finding that cow took way, way too long. <laughs> they, they, you guys can see the stuff on the bar. I had to kill chickens. I had to kill pigs. All right, let's get the milk. Come on, lag. Drinking this milk took way too long. All right, I'm going to get a spare milk. Okay, I'm going to put it in the e-chest. That's another thing I gotta do. Start organizing the e-chest and get some dyes and color code like different shulkers because have you seen people like, I don't know, like Zoomavoid or whatever, you know, how many, uh, or how organized he is with his, uh, I think it was him that was watching with his e-chest. Oh my goodness. I, I want to be that organized. One day. One day. Alright, let's throw that in there. Oh, I do have another right hoe <laughs> with efficiency five. Of course, I told you guys how many shroom lights I had to go find. This was actually a necessity. Um, oh, the mirror axe does not have, is that the final piece? I think that's the final piece. That's the final piece of the puzzle. I got my helmets in the other box, but where, where to put it? There it is. The axe is the final piece. You guys get to see this on camera. Boom, boom, boom. Absolutely outstanding. Let's put that back in the e-chest because I don't need it right now. <laughs> All right, everything's netherite, guys. <laughs> oh, so awesome. I think, uh, Colored wool, colored concrete, and, and those things of which there are 16 of each, those are probably going to go up here. That's probably what this area is going to be. I haven't decided yet, but that's probably... I'm not going to have a room down here. Because this is just going to fill up with just random stuff that I find, plus there's not enough chests for that. <laughs> it's probably going to wind up being one chest per for the 16 item things, like wool and concrete and all that. But yeah... Guys, that's about all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and give me a comment. You know, tell me what I'm, uh, tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what, I, what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what else I should build. And I'll see you guys next time. And as always, get off my lawn.